Hello and welcome back to Modded 360's new. In this training video, we're going to be giving your console a bit more customization by installing a program called Dash Launch. This program will allow you to monitor and customize certain aspects of your modded system. Before we begin, remember to grab your disk with all of the files required, as it would be quite difficult to install Dash Launch without them. Once you've obtained them, head on over to your PC and copy the files to your external storage. Once transferred, head on back to your console and plug in your external storage device. Once transferred, head on over to your console and launch XEX menu, then navigate over to HDD1. We're going to want to create a new directory here, so press Y and go down to Create. Entitle this new directory Homebrew, as this is where we'll be stashing all of your newly acquired Homebrew applications for your modded 360. Head on over to USB 0 and copy the Dash Launch 321 folder and paste it within the newly created Homebrew folder on HDD1. Once that's complete, head back to USB 0 and copy the launch.ini file. You're going to want to paste this into the root of HDD1. Once that's complete, head back into the Dash Launch folder and launch the default.xex. Welcome to Dash Launch. This is a place where you really want to know what's going on before you start messing around with stuff, as these settings dictate different system functionalities, which having a lack of understanding on could lead to some issues. But not to worry, as we'll be briefly going over some of the more important settings, starting with the Paths tab. Now paths are a lot like shortcuts, accessed by holding down a certain button while exiting to the dashboard via the Quick Start Guide. Whatever is set to the default path will be launched whenever exiting to the home screen via the guide. This is useful for custom dashboards and such. Under Network, there are two settings that are the most important for an RGH system. That is LiveBlock and LiveBlock Strong. This blocks your console from connecting to the Xbox Live services, because if it was to, you would be banned almost instantaneously. Plugins are applications that are to be launched when the system boots up. These are primarily used for stealth servers and some mod menus. To save your settings, press right bumper from the main screen and you'll be greeted with a list of directories to save the launch.ini to. Simply locate the directory you'd like to save to and press X. Pressing right bumper again will give you access to the miscellaneous settings. From here you can select system info and get access to the serial number, MAC address, CPU key, etc. Also set target temperatures for the CPU, GPU, and the ED RAM, and override the fan speed to help prevent the system from overheating. Now these are just the basics for getting started with Dash Launch. The other settings should only be touched on a case-by-case -case basis depending on the application that you're trying to use. Check the description for a full list of all the Dash Launch settings along with a description as to what they do. Now that should just about cover all the basics for Dash Launch. Thanks for joining me in this episode of Modded 360's New, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we'll be installing a custom dashboard known as Aurora. I look forward to seeing you then, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.